guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought it would be super fun if I did a quick swatch party video on the Dizzy X Katie Joseph Colors collab round two. I have had this palette for about a day now and I haven't used it yet so I thought you guys might really enjoy seeing some swatches and actually I should compare it. I love Sarah E too because I want to do some comparison swatches to that particular palette because I had originally planned on not picking this one up because I thought I had enough shades in that and then I was like, oh my god, no, I kind of want it so I bought it on Ulta. So if you guys are interested in seeing some swatches and some comparisons, just keep watching. Okay, so Desi and Katie did do quite an extensive collection. They had this eyeshadow palette, which is significantly bigger than their original one. They did a new highlighter, and then they relaunched their original highlighter from the previous collection. They did, was it like four lip colors, two glosses, one was a repeat from last time, and I think that was it. But I actually owned their previous eyeshadow palette, and I did end up sending it back to Dose of Colors because that formula was crap. And honestly, if you go back and watch a lot of the reviews, the palette was crap. A lot of people hated it. I think I was really excited that Dose of Colors just came out with basically a new formula for their shadows. So I love this guy. I recently did a review on this, so I will link it up in the cards if you guys are interested in seeing that. And I had kind of said in that video that I didn't want to buy this one because I was happy with the palette I had, but sometimes the internet really sucks me in. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch this palette for you guys. The shades are really soft, so I wonder, should I swatch all the mattes? So there's five matte shades and five shimmer shades. So here are all the mattes. Do these have names? Oh, they do. Okay, I'll try and remember to put the names on the cards so that you guys can see them. So here's the first matte, just like a brow bone shade. I think these are just crease shades. This one like really swatched quite terribly. So I swatched that and then I swatched this one and then this one. I think these will probably look better when they're actually on the crease. And then let me swatch the two mattes in the I Love Sarah E palette. These don't look anything like the two, any of the shades in the Desi X Katie palette. So that's nice because there's no real repeats. This shade and this brown shade kind of look similar, but you know, you kind of need a warm brown in every palette if you ask me. So there are the mattes. And then let's swatch the shimmers. Oh my gosh, this shade, is it called Dirty Money? Oh my gosh, everyone's been talking about that one. And the blue, beautiful. It's rose gold shade. Oh my gosh, beautiful. This one reminds me of Pat McGrath, like right away when I put my finger in it, but these are gorgeous. So let's, ooh, <laughs> wow, oh my gosh. This is actually really, really beautiful. So these are swatches of the shimmer shades. Mattes are pretty lackluster, but the shimmers are gorgeous. Oh my gosh, can't wait to put these babies on my eyes. And I know I had watched Samantha Ravindahl and she had kind of said how you can like mix and match. This is the I Love Sarah E. Oh my gosh. This black is insane from her palette. So not really similar at all, which is great. This is more like a black. This is more like a gray shade from Desi and Katie. But Samantha Ravindahl had talked about how these shades blend together really well, which I can totally see being the case so she just said you can like really mix them together and make new colors which is really cool so so far i'm so happy um that i have both of these palettes even though i was trying to talk myself out of this one this feels like so much better than the original palette that they came out with with all the special instructions like you have to use your left hand on a full moon and then wet the finger but not the tip <laughs> it's just like was very very specific and i think it was just too high maintenance for regular people luckily desi and katie can sell anything for the most part but i was not sold so very very happy with this guy so far and i will review this for you in the fullness of time thank you guys so much for watching this swatch party video if you enjoyed it don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i upload every other day so you get quite a bit of content from me and i will catch you in my next one bye guys